Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to more Super Star Wars here on the Heavy Bits X channel. Last episode, we traversed the land of the Sand People to get M M Obi Wan Kenobi, and kind of some movie scenes that were skipped. Luke's aunt and, aunt and uncle were horribly, horribly, viciously murdered by the Empire, and it was not a pretty sight. They actually skipped this in this game, but I'm just telling you now, it was a heck of a lot, heck of a oversight to skip, basically, since, you know, since practically Darth Vader literally ha took, to got revenge over, Darth Vader got revenge, technically. Anyway, but we're not supposed to know that yet, I'll say that for another time. Anyway, now, we're gonna be, we have pretty much, pretty much Luke now has to, now could just basically join the rebellion, because basically, his aunt and uncle, the only two people that kept him back, are dead! Especially they were reduced to sk ch charred skeleton. It was such. It was actually a very gruesome sight. And it was a very gruesome sight too. Anyway, um, now we gotta kill all the any all the Jawas and head towards the only place that offers space travel, Moss Eisley. Here at Moss Eisley, we're also gonna try. We're also gonna try and find. Someone who is willing to cr crack the Empire's borders, as it were. Someone who's brave enough. Someone who's completely sane. Someone who's got enough balls that the rest of the entirety of the plat, the rest of the entirety of the Tatooine flying elite. This is basically this is, this is basically you just find someone who doesn't give two fucks about the Empire. Kind of simple. Right? Anyway, we've gotten all the Jawas dead. Now we're heading towards Mos Eisley. All right, let's get going. And we can get hit, it's not a good thing, but we need to get, make sure that we avoid that, so... Let's boost our way all the way to the uh, end, and now we can be, we'll be able to do that. As it were. So, we've arrived at Moss Eisley. So, Moss Eisley, this is an encounter with Stormtroopers. Although technically Luke, Luke and uh, Obi-Wan do not encounter um, frickin... Freaking the uh, stormtroopers at the very start. Here, the stormtroopers literally fly, literally jump down out of nowhere like they don't give a fuck. Great opportunity to get some points. Absolute fantastic opportunity. Um, one of the things also you may have noticed is that the spikes are are freaking all walkable. But at the same time, they're also bad for you. Go hell sort there. That's pretty good. See if we go and see if we can try and get some more points here, and try and get some more uh, more uh, health swords. Because we need to find someone, find someone important, and that we have a very important person to find. That's really that important person. We'll be helping us for the rest of the game, and then who knows? We've been stuck with Luke Skywalker for a good majority of the game. I think that's gonna change soon. He thinks. And once that happens, we'll, you know, do stuff with it. I don't know, maybe. So, hey, can you go to the right? Now, the barrels, you see there, you can use those as platforms. It was the only, it's an effective way of getting through the spikes. It's also quick, you can actually just walk through it, but that wouldn't be a silly idea. And, uh, that's another health sword. Pretty good. The health swords are really important, especially if you want to get, like, no problem whatsoever. Um, there is another difficulty, but I refuse to like, you know, choose it, so we got a time bonus. That's 50 automatic 50 seconds. If you pick it up instantaneously, it goes down though, real fast. And uh, you got these four times if you pick up Darth Vader heads, they are point bonuses. Uh every point's worth like four. Every worth every enemy is worth four. Every enemy is worth 50 points, and then you then you times it, and then if you get an 8 times bonus, you can see here it's worth 400 points. Uh, it's it bloody everywhere. Seriously, they are everywhere. A good opportunity, though. I mean, seriously, <laughs> this is a great place to uh, get his health ups. Now we've got shields, we'll be fine for a bit. We can walk on the uh, plants. Yeah. Walk on that one. 
as we as we can see, we go this way still. I mean, this thing, this game did get released on PS4 recently, uh, a while ago. Uh, that's because Disney on the line. This was Disney before they can before they cancelled the rights. But uh, Disney still technically owns Star Wars, you see. So keep going. You go right. I mean, this, this does seem a bit long. You may ask yourself. Well, it is true. It is technically long. Their items are random. And then we got enough health to carry over the rest of the level. That's what I think too. Just everyone just getting shot all the time, and it does help. Maybe, probably, maybe not. Health sword again. That's good. More health. More health is always important. You can traverse through spikes, but that's not usually a good idea. They take them down really quick. And that will do. More trigger that one. I think you'll be seeing less of the uh, Jawas after, the, after when we get off, when we eventually do get off Moss Eisley. Uh, they never show up again. Really, they do not show up again. I think they don't show up in the story until freaking Super Return of the Jedi. And they're usually the less capacitated role. I would have figured that, you know, this week, if we make sense story-wise, that the Tatooine won't be seeing Tatooine for a very, very long time. And if you remember, it was the opening half bit of episode 6. That was the bit. Get through that. Yeah, I, I like Star I've always, like I said before, I've liked Star Wars since I was young. Uh, everyone was like, oh, are you first Star Wars? And, there he is! This is our character! It's Chewy! Thank God! We've actually found someone that's new, and it looks like he's a playable character. Wait, we can play as the Wookiee? Nice! And indeed, we do play as the Wookiee! Right. Now, from for the rest of the game we have the uh, we have a selection screen. So, as you can see here we have Luke Skywalker on the left, we also have Chewbacca on the right. And uh, since we've got the opportunity to play as Chewie in the next episode, um, we'll go ahead and choose Chewbacca for the next part. So, see you next time.